Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. There's another interesting article that I wrote in my Instagram page. It's like these uh, photos which keep coming one after the other with some small texts in it. 10 indications of a very difficult marriage. Now I'm not talking of uh, somebody who will not get married or somebody who has difficulty in getting married. Or nor am I talking of somebody who uh, necessarily will be divorced, okay? But if you have many of these indications, then you know that there is some problem. Either there is a problem in getting married um, because of your attitude and your nature or you don't find anybody. Or even if you get married, that thing doesn't work. Or maybe you can get into a relationship, but you cannot stay uh, with that person for very long to convert it into marriage you know or either ways you know or there is divorce or dissension or there is separation and there is uh, reunion again separation or again as i said you know divorce uh, so in in general in short these are 10 queries which will help you to know that there is some problem on the other in a in the marriage okay <clears throat> And disclaimer this these indications have to be there in both the horoscopes so this should be there in the husband's chart and also in the wife's chart okay otherwise uh, they may not hold true all right so if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation you will find my website down below in the description section and if you like this video hit the thumbs up <clears throat> god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him so <clears throat> oops all right so we have a disclaimer here let me set it to single page okay so the disclaimer is the potential uh, for a challenging marriage will be there only if there are four or five features okay among these 10 or more and uh, of course as i said this this has to be there in both the charts and also <clears throat> along with this you have to understand that there could be a thousand other possibilities a thousand other combinations or placements which could lead to this okay so you need to understand that these are not just the ones okay but if you have more than four or five of this uh, then you might know that there there is some serious trouble and then even if you have four or five you have to see how bad it is okay so just having so you for example you may have six or seven of these but uh, maybe the power of these uh, negative placements are not that high so then you can still do away with them uh, you will still have problems but it's not very bad now why am i giving these disclaimers is because otherwise people will see one thing and then they will uh, make a judgment okay so let's jump into number one <coughs> A very dominating ascendant position you know this uh, this makes the person uh, very strongly opinionated and the person has a tough time with uh, embracing different viewpoints so for such people uh, life uh, may be better off if they are single because they cannot compromise and they uh, do not have adaptability of course, the word compromise doesn't seem very good here. Uh, but when I say compromise, it, it does not mean compromise in a derogatory sense. It means some adjustments here, there, okay. Uh, this is not to say that the person has to compromise with some uh, fundamentals in his or her life, uh, some non-negotiables. But if the person does not have the flexibility and adaptability which can be seen from a dominant ascendant position then you know that uh, there is some uh, serious crisis okay in the marriage because the person cannot understand another person's viewpoint and the person is hell bent on proving that their opinions uh, their opinions are the only opinions okay so this can make things very tr troublesome. Uh, so please check if the ascendant position is exceedingly dominant. Okay. 
an excessively strong 10th house mm -hmm. the person is obsessed with external achievements and person is fully puffed up because of all the praise and then what happens is the person uh, somehow starts feeling that life is all about external achievements it could be achievements related to you know career beauty appearance uh, some fan following or whatever you know money luxury whatever it is external so then the person also starts judging the spouse from their external things you know how good looking the spouse is what will others think if he or she is with me you know how if we both are together what will others think of me you know will my name fame increase with this person or will it go down you no know? and the person cannot experience genuine feelings because for feelings uh, for you to experience feelings you know you you have to understand that uh, life is not always fair with everybody right but if the person is having a very influential 10th house then uh, if they find that their spouse is a bit incompetent compared to them then oh my god the spouse is dismissed okay so this will either lead to separation or divorce or an extramarital affair <clears throat> high level of narcissism is very uh, commonly seen you know especially with the uh, working people these days you will you will see that's very prevalent okay and there are uh, these people they are ready to uh, kick off their marriage just because just for the sake of some uh, fancy career you know i want to advance in my career so i need to kick off this marriage you know it's not working and then what happens after 5 to 10 years you know they then they'll become lonely and then uh, they are in their 40s 50s and they can't find anybody at that age it's very difficult although it's possible but it's much more difficult to find somebody in your 40s or 50s you know than to find somebody in your 20s or initial 30s so then they get into addictions they keep buying luxury products one after the other you know they keep doing uh, some fake charity externally to hide their inability to love someone okay but the at, at that time when uh, they could have uh, then they kicked their spouse away okay an overwhelmingly demanding sixth house mm -hmm -hmm. now this is unfortunate unfortunately this is a very unfortunate situation where um, the person has a very demanding sixth house which means the person is somehow is somehow too much over involved with you know work or you know they're like um, uh, income tax rates or uh, he has to get his uh, uh, or her you know brother sister married you know uh, there is health problem you know there are problem from the parents problems with the in-laws you know so so many problems in life external problems <clears throat> because of which the person is under extreme high stress and even if the person is good uh, this will hinder the person's ability to uh, feel a meaningful connection with their spouse because uh, of course if there is extreme stress all the time you know you can have some stress all the time you can have extreme stress for some time but if you have extreme stress perpetually then you become very logical and you become very defensive because that's how the world is the world is always attacking you <coughs> um, yeah and you 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 are left with nobody right so then you you got to do all this and this is unfortunate as i said the person may not want to do all this but maybe by dint of his or her karma the person has to do all this okay then there is problem in marriage yeah this can uh, be overcome if the other person is very 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 supportive but to find such supportive people in kaliuga that you know your whole life is going downhill and your partner is supporting you fully is almost next to impossible okay at least uh, in the 21st century in 2023 and later i think it will get even worse okay so you may find one in 10000 or one in a million uh, husband or wife who will support their spouse but most likely the other will not 
the other 999 okay <clears throat> prominent planets which are the prominent planets sun moon lagna lagna lord okay lagna is a house of course but still it's very prominent now, if these four houses, uh, planets, uh, Sun, Moon, Lagna, Lagna, Lord, are somehow connected to the Dustanas, not just one of them, you know, not just Sun in 12th or Moon in 6th or, you know, Lagna, Lord in 12th. If there are multiple indications, like, for example, Surya is in the 6th, then Chandra is in the 8th and Lagnesh is in the 12th. And adding to that, you know, if maybe the sun, moon and lagna lord, they are aspected by either the 6th lord, 8th lord or 12th lord or they are conjunct. So either they are sitting in 6th, 8th, 12th or they are conjunct with the lords of the 6th, 8th, 12th or they have been aspected by the lords of 6th, 8th, 12th or maybe if the lords of 6th, 8th, 12th, they are sitting in the lagna. Okay, in all these four circumstances this what what does this do this gives up this makes a person this gives actually this takes away a person's ability to stick to his word as uh, they say in hindi you know dawadol basically okay the person is yeah the person is not stable the mental balance is not good and because of that the person gives into his or her weaknesses you know lust anger so lust will give extra metal affair anger will give you know violence in marriage greed will give uh, neglect towards the spouse and pride will give narcissism envy will also give you know narcissism comparing and all this you know and illusion uh, can give all of the above <laughs> So depending on what planet it is, depending on the nature of the trouble, uh, it will be decided which anartha will take over, okay? And therefore, the person uh, has to break off or the spouse breaks off. A difficult moon, this is like classic. Because see, the moon does not have light of its own. You know, the moon first gets the light from the sun and then reflects it back, right? So if the moon is very badly placed, then it means uh, that the person has difficulty accepting love and reciprocating back that same love. You know, the person has tremendous challenge in regards to that. The pers for that, that person, it's like a nightmare because the person has seen so much uh, neglect and uh, violence in a person's maybe initial years, you know, in the childhood. <clears throat> that the person may think oh uh, uh, no being ignored and being uh, harassed is like love you know the person may actually believe that this is love and then when a person comes and acts normal then uh, the person feels this is abnormal because for them abnormal is normal and normal seems abnormal okay so then they cannot openly communicate with their spouse, you know, then there are you know, miscalculated expectations, you know, like uh, unclarified expectations. Okay, so then this causes a lot of problems in marriage. The number six, bad Dharakaraka placement. This can suggest that in past lifetimes you do not have good memories of marriage and relationships and this can give you a lot of insecurity which will lead you to dissatisfaction. Okay, so if your Dharakaraka is very badly placed, you know, especially afflicted by two or more malefics, you know, then it might happen that uh, there is terrible dissatisfaction and uh, you, you are always finding faults with the spouse because maybe in your past lifetimes your spouse cheated on you so now if your spouse is interacting normally with another person with another member of the opposite sex for some reason because you have those past samskaras even if you don't see any trace of that in your partner in this lifetime you will still believe that this person is cheating on you because of those previous samskaras okay so this is again unfortunate but this is true. 
नंबर सेवन वेन द लॉर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स ऑफ द ट्राइंस नॉट लॉर्ड लॉर्ड्स विच मीन्स बोथ द फिफ्थ एंड द नाइन्थ ओके इफ दे आर इन डेबिलिटी और दे आर एफ्लिक्टेड यू नो और दे आर इन एनिमी साइन बैडली प्लेस्ड और इन दे आर इन द दुस्थानास then it shows that a person cannot think of anything beyond material enjoyment so the person is very much caught up you know how much money uh, do they have and how much money does the spouse have what kind of a sex life they are having how many times they are having sex in the day uh, or maybe in the week or in the month now they are very obsessed you know who, who is buying what car who is buying home where who is doing what here who is doing there because for them matter is all that exists trines give you light light is the light of the sun which is actually spiritual knowledge so, jupiter sun and mars you know it's like agni and uh, adhyatma but when this is not there then matter is all that exists <coughs> so then there is terrible fluctuation very frequent fluctuation you know today something is good today you have new car marriage is great today you go on a date on a uh, you know uh, whatever you know you go to a nice place you are having a nice time romantic time you know it's good again when you come back all the boring job life you know because uh, the person may feel life is very boring because when the trines are bad uh, then the person is used to getting kicks in life you know some pleasures you know like by masturbation pornography by drugs alcohol you know like um, quick pleasures you know so then normal life seems very boring to them okay <clears throat> so then there is frustration when they come back to home after the vacation oh life is terrible again so this is again unfortunate and this not completely unfortunate this is uh, deliberate also sometimes but if the trines are bad then please uh, focus on doing spiritual practices that is the only way you can be out okay so marital stability emotional wellness is in doldrums all right bad placement of venus in the navamsha can imply that a person's a person cannot reciprocate love okay because if venus is bad in the d9 you you your your inner bent of mind can be that oh my spouse is not good enough so you cannot appreciate and how long will somebody do things for you if you don't appreciate okay no matter what they do for you you will always find faults with them so then uh, there is no reciprocation and the partner uh, will feel distant from you and then they may go and find somebody else they may cheat on you or because you find faults always then you feel there is a perfect person you know maybe somewhere in another world so that you will find them you will cheat them till the time you get into a relationship and you realize they are they appear the same like the before uh, partner and it keeps going on always okay so bad venus in the d9 is like a never ending hopeless romantic love story which uh, love stories actually okay it's like a bad bad lover story <laughs> number 9 a bad d12 dwada shamsha did your parents have a terrible marriage yes and if you have a bad dwada shamsha those those things are going to be there in you even especially if the bad relationship was during when your mother was pregnant or when you were born okay or especially uh, yeah during the time your mother conceived okay that time then it is there and we can see that very clearly in the dwada shamsha then you also believe that you know it's okay to fight quarrel abuse beat each other yeah cheat each other or whatever you know like find faults with each other it's fine after all right so this is like this is again unfortunate but this is a person's karma basically toxic family history is inherited for free 
unfavorable this is the most number 10 is like gold why did i put it here it should be number one actually <laughs> Bad Mahadashas for the upcoming 25 years of planets connected with the 6th house. Why 6th house? Because it's 7th from, the, it's 12th from the 7th. 7th is marriage, 12th is denial, right? So 6th house is denial of marriage, bad bad marriage, marriage problems, stress, health problems, all this. 10th house is 12th from the 11th. 11th is again Labhasthan. 10th house, if you remember, you know, external achievements and all this. Then 8th house, problems, reversals in general and 12th house losses. And because of all this, the person cannot focus in marriage. You know, 6th house will give you so many problems. 10th house will make you obsessed with achievements. 8th house will give you reversal. 12th house will give you losses, okay. So then the person is inevitably forced or the person is voluntarily focusing in other areas of life, okay. And the person cannot focus in marriage and the married life is in doldrums again okay all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your patience if you like this video then please click the thumbs up and let me know in the comments what are some other combinations that you have seen in your experience okay and if you are new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation my website is down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you